Just a little over a month ago, I dropped a video titled Unity Hates You But Wants Your Money, where I basically tore into Unity's new pricing policy. So, you might be thinking, did I decide to switch to another game engine? Well, you're not far from the truth. I did start looking for alternatives. However, after weeks of research, as you have probably guessed from the title of this video, I've come to the conclusion that Unity is basically an irreplaceable tool. At least for me. At least for now. I've learned quite a bit about both Unreal Engine and Godot, and I can confidently say that in my specific case they just cannot compete with Unity. So, that's why I've decided to create this video explaining why Unity remains the best game engine for aspiring indie game developers like myself. But before I delve into details, let me first set up a couple of disclaimers to avoid being accused of bias. Disclaimer 1. I want to be crystal clear that I'm not here to spread any hate towards the engine I mentioned in this video. Given the massive number of people using Unity, Godot and Unreal, it's obvious that each of them has its strong points and advantages. My only aim here is to explain why I'm sticking with Unity and why, in my opinion, Godot and Unreal don't even come close. But hey, your mileage may vary. If you think Unreal or Godot is better than Unity, please share your thoughts in the comments. Disclaimer 2. Even though I've invested a decent amount of time into learning about Unreal Engine and Godot, reading through countless arguments and discussions, and diving into Reddit threads and forum posts, I've never actually had the chance to create a game using these engines. So my knowledge is limited to the information I've gathered from the internet. With that said, let's start with Unreal Engine. How dare you question the unwavering authority of the Unreal Engine? Why the Unreal Engine is worse than Unity, you might ask. And the answer is, it is not. Unreal Engine is not really worse than Unity, unless you are trying to solve issues that Unreal is not supposed to solve. For example, can you create a straightforward mobile 2D game using Unreal Engine? Absolutely you can. But is it the most optimal choice? Probably not. Unreal Engine excels in crafting hyper-realistic AAA 3D games. With remarkable innovations like Lumen and Nanite introduced in the latest Unreal version, its direction is quite evident. If your aim is to develop a 3D shooter, adventure, RPG, or anything with hundreds of thousands of polygons and high-resolution graphics, then Unreal Engine is likely the best fit for your needs. However, if you are, like me, working on a mobile 2D game with simpler, more cartoon-like graphics, at some point you might feel like you are fighting against the engine rather than leveraging its full potential. Let's take a brief look at games created with Unreal Engine. From its iconic signature title Fortnite to legendary games like Mortal Kombat, Stalker 2, or Hellblade. They are all exceptional 3D games, incredibly polished and highly successful. Yet, given their scope and scale, they are nearly impossible to create for solo indie game developers like myself. Unity, on the other hand, doesn't restrict you to either 2D or 3D. It doesn't give you that feeling that the engine is pushing you into developing a specific type of game. In my opinion, it's much more beginner-friendly. Even C Sharp, the programming language used in Unity, is undoubtedly much simpler than C++, the language of Unreal Engine. However, while 3D games made with Unity such as Subnautica, Firewatch and Escape from Tarkov may appear somewhat simpler compared to games created with Unreal Engine, they still look and play exceptionally well. In fact, Escape from Tarko appears incredibly realistic, to the point where you might have a hard time distinguishing it from high-end games developed with Unreal Engine. Now, before we transition to Godot, 
please don't forget to hit that like button. Your support will help this channel gain more visibility and inspire me to create even more content like this. Considering all the hype surrounding the Godot game engine, I was genuinely excited to learn more about it. First, it's open source, which means there are no corporate boards trying to squeeze their customers for every penny. Second, it's completely free, so there are no royalties or commissions you'd be forced to pay no matter how much money your ultra-successful game makes. Sounds great, right? Well, it is. However, after days and weeks of research, I've come to the conclusion, or rather an innate feeling, that the Godot game engine isn't quite there yet. Here's a list of reasons why I believe Godot cannot truly compete with Unity, at least in its current state of development. I've sorted them from the least important, which in my case can even be ignored, to the most critical, which completely blocks out the option of using Godot for me. First, extremely limited assets and plugins ecosystem. While Unity is well known for its extensive ecosystem of various assets and plugins, Godot is in a much worse situation. However, even though many developers consider this a major drawback for using Godot, it's not as critical for me, as I prefer creating assets myself and rarely use external plugins. Fewer tutorials and smaller community. The second aspect, however, is much more significant. I'm talking about the notable shortage of high-quality tutorials and the overall size of the engine's community. Uh, let's compare the size of Godot's community to that of Unity on Reddit. You'll find that Godot has only one subreddit with 145,000 members, while Unity has five subreddits with almost 700,000 members combined, with the largest one boasting 352,000 members. That's a difference which is hard to ignore. 3D games in Godot don't quite match the level of quality seen in Unity. When it comes to 3D games, Unreal Engine is often considered the clear winner. However, Unity has also made significant strides in the 3D gaming field, especially with his like Escape from Tarkov. Godot, on the other hand, falls short when it comes to 3D games. It's widely recognized in the game development community that Godot is not yet fully equipped to handle the creation of high-quality and high-performance 3D games. Personally, this aspect is not a primary concern for me, as I'm not currently working on 3D games. However, it's a factor I can't completely ignore, as I might explore this game type in the future. The overall absence of high-quality and highly successful games. Both Unreal and Unity boast impressive big hits. I've previously mentioned some popular games developed with Unreal Engine, such as its flagship title Fortnite which has attracted tens of millions of players. The same holds true for Unity, with its highly successful games like Hollow Knight, Pokemon Go, Hearthstone, Cuphead, Cities Skylines, Oxygen Not Included, Ori and the Blind Forest, and Firewatch just to name a few. Not only do these games look fantastic, but they've also gained massive followings of dedicated players. However, despite my best efforts, I couldn't find any truly massive hits created with Godot. I did come across a few games like Earthbound Dimensions, Rota, Banana Guy, and Forgotten Minds. While I believe they are all good games, it's challenging to compare them to mega hits like Fortnite or Hollow Knight. If you happen to know of any major hits made with the Godot that I might have missed with the millions of players, please let me know in the comments of this video. I would genuinely appreciate it. Relying on GDScript and treating C Sharp as an afterthought. The existence of its own separate programming language, GDScript, is a major drawback, at least from my perspective. Just imagine investing months 
and perhaps even years in learning a new programming language that can only be used within one game engine. It's true that Godot does support C Sharp, but as far as I know, it treats this language as an afterthought. And that's the reason why C Sharp in Godot has a bunch of issues. For example, getting debugging to work properly requires some time and effort. And as of now, you cannot compile your game for mobile platforms if you are using C Sharp. Many Reddit users also share the sentiment that many parts of the engine were initially designed with GDScript in mind, making them feel a bit awkward when used with C Sharp. I have no idea why Godot decided to create a separate language rather than using a more mainstream one, but it might not have been the best choice. I had already learned one language that was limited to a single engine, which was ActionScript 3 for Flash. Now that Flash is dead, my knowledge of ActionScript 3 is no longer relevant. However, when it comes to C Sharp, I'm currently working on the game server for my Get a Little Gold game. I've chosen to build it entirely from scratch as a standalone console application, without relying on any game engine. Yet, I'm using the C Sharp programming language because it's a universal language that can be applied to a wide range of tasks beyond game development. With knowledge of C Sharp, I can easily transition to web development with ASP.NET, develop desktop applications with Windows Forms, engage in cross-platform development with .NET, or even explore fields like machine learning or data science. If I so wish, I can even seek employment as an engineer in larger company, since C Sharp is a highly popular programming language in high demand, which cannot be set for GDScript. Lack of console porting support and compilation issues for mobile when using C Sharp. The final and most critical issue with Godot when compared to Unity is its limited support for porting to various platforms. To me, the ability to compile a game for every conceivable platform, including consoles and mobile devices, of course, is truly essential in game engine. Unfortunately, Godot lacks support for compiling games for game consoles. But what's even more unfortunate, there are reports on Reddit suggesting issues while compiling for mobiles when using C Sharp. And it basically means that I cannot use Godot for my games as I create games specifically for mobiles. I hope I've successfully explained why, for me, Unity remains the only suitable game engine, at least for now. However, if you feel that I missed some points or made mistakes in evaluating game engines, please feel free to provide additional information in the comments down below. Also, consider subscribing to this channel if you want more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.